Okay, so this is a concept idea for a Prusik capture system when reloading my trebuchet using uh, the snatch block and a pickup truck. So this is all out of reference here, but here's the concept is you have a Prusik and you want to capture your progress as you're going with the Prusik such that if the hull stops and lets go, uh, the Prusik will save your progress. So uh, as I pull here, it slides through, but then if I let go and pull on the other side, oops. <laughs> Okay, so we've just demonstrated an important point. So what I've got that holds the Prusik in place is this paracord. And it's girth hitched around both sides of the Prusik. So there's a wrap around these three and a wrap around these three and it comes out here in the center. This is just some extra. So that's a... Uh, key point is the Prusik needs to be shorter than your, I don't know what to call this, but um, if I don't have this paracord here, here I'll, actually I'll show you that. If I take this out, then it'll, uh, it'll catch and it won't let me take progress in the direction that I want. So. Oh, but that's an interesting contradiction, isn't it? Because if this is longer than the Prusik, then the Prusik will catch. But if this is shorter than the Prusik, then uh, it won't properly engage on the back side. So, there's a fault in this setup that I'm trying to anchor them both to the same place. Let's think about this for a minute. So, I've got the Prusik loop hooked now basically to the same anchor as the snatch block. And then this other little catch here. So, as I pull this way, I can make progress. But if something goes wrong, it'll catch and save my progress. So it allows progress one way and then stops if anything breaks. So now I have the Prusik anchored basically to the same location that the snatch block is. And I've got the Prusik holder, or the secondary, anchored to a different spot, sort of a triangle, keeping this sort of in place. And uh, so I can make progress the one way. So you just got to keep the Prusik well clear of this snatch block. And you can make progress, but then if this goes wrong, the Prusik will catch to the anchor that the snatch block is in. So the uh, procedure here would be every time you finish a haul down, you uh, unclip both sides of the Prusik. And I probably want the carabiners to stay on the fixed anchors so you've only got rope hanging around and then when you go to fire or to loose you would take this out of the snatch block and then 
run the Prusik. No, you'd have to run it down, yeah. You'd have to run it down to the tail end. And then take it up and over the axle. So I'll sort of reset the Sam basically at the end. We've done a launch. I go to do another launch. I put it in the snatch block with the Prusik on the correct side. Anchor it in. Probably want to hook in the primary first, if anything. And then hook in the secondary. And then I can start hauling. Conduct the reload process with the pickup truck. And you'd be counting on the line between the arm and the prusik to hold. If that fails, we'd be doomed. But if anything on the other end of this system fails, the prusik will be a last resort. And then we can take a uh, rolling hitch around the line and take it into the machine's winch. The manual windlass. So the real trick will be determining the proper secondary anchor point and the spacing distance here between the two lines. And this will be kind of inverted, so a good secondary anchor might be the winch itself, the windlass axle. Because this will all be sort of upside down. This will be sort of right next to the winch. We'll have to see how this the geometry works in practice, but the theory's there, and it adds a progress capture safety feature and once installed on the day it would just be a matter of sliding a prusik down 30 feet of line and then uh, operating two clips so hopefully the added hassle will be worth the extra insurance here so we'll see how it goes this weekend